All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores. And man, is this real? Apparently, Dan Snyder and Tanya Snyder have hired Bank of America Securities to explore the sale of their franchise. This is a huge bombshell. This is the most significant Dan Snyder news yet. We're going to dive into why this may actually be real and why Dan Snyder could potentially be selling this team, like, for real, for real this time. Like, not for play play. I'm a little worried, though. Because with them hiring both for securities, it sounds like a huge setup for Dan Snyder to hit us with the meanest both of these joke of all time. I know my boy Luck is lurking in the shadows right now. But we got to dive into everything that we know so far. All of the facts. And then, of course, we got to dive into all of the theories. And we're definitely going to take a look into why this may actually be the first real step towards Dan Snyder for real selling the team. There's some real momentum behind this. We're going to read the statement from the commanders. We're going to read everything. How much are the commanders worth? Who are some potential buyers? And man, I'm telling y'all, this upcoming game against the Vikings with this news, this might be the most packed house we've seen from this team in a long time with a bunch of burgundy jerseys even though it's going to be a blackout day everybody's going to be wearing all black even the fans in the stadium so this is going to be really interesting i mean people are probably going to be dressing up as if it's like dan snyder's funeral or something i can already see people turning it into that this is going to be the loudest and happiest and most hopeful this commander's crowd has been since dating back even while we were the redskins still before the washington football team it's crazy but before we dive into all of that make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get notification immediately and every time i release an informative and opinionated video just like this one make sure you pull up every sunday for the live play-by-play -play analysis of every commander's regular season game and again i'm gonna always speak it into existence every postseason game as well man i'm not playing make sure y'all pull up to laugh and learn every commander's game and without further ado let's get it all right so man i gotta put my bed out of nowhere, I see, according to a report from Forbes, Commander's owner Dan Snyder has hired Bank of America to explore options for selling the team. The report goes on to state they're looking into selling either the whole team or just a minority stake, which obviously is a major distinction. Snyder bought out the rest of the minority partners, and selling a stake in the team could be a way to do to add extra cash, maybe? The statement says, Dan and Tanya Snyder and the Washington Commanders announced today that they have hired both for securities to consider potential transactions the Snyders remain committed to the team all of its employees and its countless fans to putting the best product on the field and continuing the work to set the gold standard for workplaces in the NFL I mean I they just they just straight up lied in that last sentence of the statement I mean golly they didn't even try to hide it again I'm scared because both of securities just sounds like the ultimate setup for a both of these joke and I, I'm just I'm really hoping that Dan Snyder don't kill us with it like this isn't just some elaborate prank from some 15 year old somewhere i don't know but this seems legit and it's crazy because it's definitely worth noting that dan snyder has refused any calls or offers to sell the team for decades now even with all of this going on with the sexual misconduct and everything going on in the workplace and jim mercy even coming out and attacking him personally just a few days ago and dan snyder supposedly stealing money from the nfl with all of this chaos he's had a firm no this is the first time there's ever been like a chink in the army you know what i'm saying that's why this is like the real first step and a real first move if he's not just trying to sell minority state so we we so we got to dive into why it doesn't seem like that's all he's trying to do he may actually be just trying to get rid of the entire team so of course with him ignoring calls for a few decades now that means that there are some people interested so of course a little later in this video we're going to dive into who those people may be and who we should prefer but remember just three weeks ago when jim ursay said that dan snyder needs to sell the franchise the commander said quote mr ursay will conclude that there's no reason for the snyder to consider selling the franchise and they won't unquote like straight up declaration standing 10 toes down we are not selling this franchise next thing you know three weeks later after a three game win streak they're starting to explore the sale again nothing's confirmed but it's the fact that dan snyder has had such a firm no just a firm i will never do this 
and now there's suddenly a chink in the armor a little bit starting to show a little cut that's huge man remember just a couple of years ago for years he was saying he will never change the team name i mean just kept saying it over and over again no there's no we're considering it there's no it's a possibility no straight up no we will never change the team name now look we've changed it twice and then he was saying he won't sell the team for forever now he's considering it and that's literally the steps that the team name went to we went from declarative no's for a long time to a okay we're actually kind of thinking about it and that's when we were like oh yeah the fact that we even got a maybe is insane a maybe from dan snyder is basically a yes because that's a firm no type of guy same thing is happening with him selling the team this is actually big news y'all just the fact that in this statement that the official commanders came out with didn't say we're not selling is probably the biggest news of this whole thing the fact that they didn't just come out and give that declarative no even in the statement like yeah we're considering some things but we are not selling type of thing they didn't even do that again just to remind y'all this could be a minority stake for some stadium cash or he literally could just be sick of everything i mean all of the pressure that he was receiving for the name he probably just gave up like all right man just change the name whatever man and then it could probably be the same thing for this he's probably just looking like man somebody can pay me a lot of money and i could just go mind my business real quick and dive into some other business ventures or something like that again it's probably just a chink in the armor enough pressure over time and fans chanting sell the team at games and i felt like they went about it very wrong brian robinson's rookie debut after getting shot he's out there having his interview with nfl network after the game you can barely even hear a response because the fans are screaming sell the team like right behind the cameraman or something like that i didn't like that but it's just been a multitude of things probably pressuring dan snyder into being like you know what man is it really worth this headache also in Schefter's tweet, I mean, he didn't say anything about a minority stake, so maybe he knows something. He did say explore the sale of the franchise in his tweet, but he didn't mention anything about the option of minority stake and things like that, even though that's what the commander said. Maybe Adam Schefter knows something behind closed doors that this is not a minority stake type of thing. And so, of course, man, shouts out to the Burgundy Zone. My boy, the pot father. Y'all can definitely go find them at the Burgundy Zone. Please make sure y'all follow them on Twitter and subscribe to them. But when I was on this show a couple of weeks ago they brought up a good point that Peyton Manning would really be like the perfect person to buy this team and it's really interesting that Peyton Manning was in the indie booth during that Colts game this past Sunday when we won maybe he was looking like you know what I could do something with this team if I get them a franchise quarterback love Taylor Heineke but if I could get them a franchise quarterback that I can mold as the owner I could get them back looking like they were in the 80s type of thing you know what I'm saying winning Super Bowls and the NFC East is better than it's been statistically ever in NFL history. So this could be a little fun. This could be a nice little challenge. Nice defense to start with. You know what I'm saying? Peyton Man was probably looking at, you know what? We could, I could do something with this, man. Me with how well I know quarterbacks, that's the easy part. And that's the part that the commanders have been struggling with the most for really forever. Even when we were winning Super Bowls, we won it with three different quarterbacks within less than 10 years. We've just never had that 20 year long franchise quarterback winning Super Bowls type of thing. Peyton Man is like, I can do that. I can figure that out. That's the easy part on my end. And you know, people already talk at the combine and stuff like that, along with the owner meetings, wherever they have them, like in Florida and stuff like that. That's where a lot of trades go down during the combine before the draft ends up happening and things like that. They just kind of get the groundwork laid out and get the ball rolling at the combine and stuff like that. And that's Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Maybe Peyton Manning was on the same type of time with Dan Snyder while he was there. Now, shouts out to Sports Knot. They made they came out with an article listing the top four people that should buy the commanders the best candidates of course you have jeff bezos the amazon founder he's worth 182.4 billion dollars i'm not exactly sure about that i mean i know we've been on this whole anybody but dan snyder type of thing but now that it seems like dan snyder is officially gonna go i'm definitely team paid manning I mean, shouts out to Burgundy Zone for putting that idea in my head. I'm full go on Peyton Manning being our owner. The quarterback guru himself. I mean, of course, the NFL has already partnered with Amazon for the exclusive rights to Thursday Night Football. 
and he's the richest owner possible we would have the richest owner in the nfl by far and just like the exclusivity of everything again he's already connected to the nfl with thursday night football and and just amazon i mean imagine how much of a priority commander stuff would be on amazon it would literally be all over the front page of amazon you could be going to amazon to buy some toothbrushes you're gonna see commander's gear so that would be the fun part of it that commanders would have a huge priority on all of that stuff man everything aesthetically he would probably change the website from that random tan and white to like a burgundy and gold just in general you could be going in to buy slippers and you're just gonna see at least some type of commander's aesthetic because he would probably just dive head first into it and integrate commander's colors and theme into everything he does or it could go the other way around and then he changed the team name and the colors to the amazons and then now we're walking around as fans wearing yellow white and tan and black i guess and the slight orange and a dark blue that could end up be our team's jerseys and i'm not sure if i'm willing to risk that man definitely want to stay breaking and go for the rest of my life because honestly a new owner could come in here and change the name again and then we will have our fourth name in five years that's very possible if dan snyder were to sell the team tomorrow and somebody were to step in somebody like jeff bezos could come in and change all of that and please don't man also the ted learner and learner family i mean they're already dominating the washington sports scene learner a billionaire real estate developer grew up in northwest washington dc attended law school at georgetown I mean straight DC and he bought the Nationals from the Major League of Baseball in 2006 and since then the Nationals have won a World Series and Forbes estimates the franchise value at 2 billion so it just seems like it would only be right for him to go ahead and buy the Commanders as well and own multiple DC teams as a straight up DC native I can see why that would be some people's fan favorite and I'm down for that too then of course you have Jay-Z Rock Nation founder worth 4.2 billion slightly less than learner who's worth 4.8 billion and there's already some employees that work for the commanders that have previously worked for rock nation so there's that connection i believe they have talked to jay-z at one point about some certain things so i mean there's already a connection there if jay-z wants to buy it plus jay-z has already partnered with the nfl as well but there's reports that he's looking for something bigger we'll see then you also have steve balmer of the los angeles clippers worth 96.5 billion again nowhere near as much as jeff bezos but but an easy second compared to everybody else i've listed so far steve Ballmer is currently the richest owner in american sports and the next milestone on this to-do list might be owning two pro teams the former ceo of microsoft brings a personality first of all he is really fun man that man be front row seats at the clippers game just as excited as any other fan in the building man and i do love that that man is even more passionate about his team than jerry jones at least on the court wise like standing courtside compared to jerry jones standing field side or in the booth that man steve Ballmer, looks like he lives and breathes the clippers for real but it's not all about energy of course it takes more than that to run a team well because dan snyder if anything one positive you could say about him is that well first of all he's rich second of all is that he's a diehard commanders fan well redskins fan growing up and that's why he wanted this team to be great he just doesn't make the right moves to make it happen sadly but either way i mean somebody just come in and buy it like i said for me me personally anybody but dan snyder again i don't want to bring in somebody that's going to ruin something either like again jeff bezos coming in here and turning us into the amazons i would hope if jeff bezos were to buy the team he would just embrace the burgundy and gold and go from there but who knows again for me just somebody come in with a crazy offer an offer that dan snyder can't refuse type of offer even if it's not just monetary but just to let y'all know forbes has valued the commanders at 5.6 billion dollars in august and the broncos just sold for a record 4.65 billion so the commanders are worth almost an entire one more billion than that I mean, even with all of the losing, the Commanders are still one of the most valuable franchises in all of sports, period. Especially American sports. We still got that. Even with all of the losing, even with no Super Bowl appearance and barely any playoff appearances, since the last time we won a Super Bowl in the early 90s, we're still one of the most valuable franchises. I think the market also has a lot to say with that. And then plus us winning Super Bowls, we have fans everywhere. We have fans in every continent, every country. 
UK, Australia, Brazil, Thailand, Germany, Argentina, literally everywhere. Mexico, literally everywhere. And so us as fans and just holding out hope have been holding this franchise down. And again, I feel like the market, it being based in DC, the DMV, Virginia, Maryland, all of that, that's also helped it stay afloat. Because this losing definitely hasn't helped. It's been this fan base and where this team is located for sure. And it's rich history, which is just a long time ago. I mean, emphasis on the word history. Now, again, this could just be a situation where they may just be bringing in minority owners. Remember, he bought up the rest of the minority owners a while back to own 100% of the team. Because the majority of the time that he's been the owner, he has not owned 100% of the team. That was recent. And now he may just be trying to sell some of his minority stakes back to get some money. But at the same time, who would even want to be a minority owner in a situation like this to even attach a name to Dan Snyder? I'm pretty sure this is just an all out purge and they're just gonna completely remove him and it's just gonna be nobody i mean he's still technically suspended from the nfl i believe it's supposed to be tanya tanya snyder handling everything i'm not even sure if dan snyder is supposed to even be at games like he was in the booth for the indianapolis coast game this past sunday i mean i think we just completely forgot including roger goodell that dan snyder is currently suspended and now apparently there's helicopters circling ashburn so i don't know what's going on but it's a lot going on out there right now but again just to remind y'all like i said in the intro fedex field is about to be insane sunday if there were one game that you could go to this season i would go to the first game after dan snyder announces that he's probably gonna sell the team i mean people are already on twitter talking about it everywhere everybody's so excited and then again it's a blackout game versus the vikings so the team is going to be wearing all black because the jerseys look nice the fans are going to be wearing all black but again they're probably going to be wearing it as a goodbye to dan snyder it's just going to be one of the more exciting atmospheres that the Fe that fedex field has seen in a long time since probably when rg3 won that last game of the season against the cowboys to go into the playoffs that's probably how exciting the FedEx field atmosphere is gonna be at least this is gonna be the closest it's been since that for sure especially after riding the three game win streak that we're on right now oh yeah there were one commanders game you would go to at FedEx field this season now is the time plus it's Kirk Cousins coming back oh yeah it's time for us to show out man but we'll see man who knows what's about to happen that's the end of this video please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video please leave a like on this video if you liked it if you learned anything as always man i appreciate all the support man shouts out to all of my sponsors especially my pro bowl sponsors name you scroll on the screen right now do you believe this is real momentum without further ado catch y'all later i'm out <laughs>